Okay, let's make a video about land. Um, let's open up a new one so we can see what's available to buy for land. Now, this is kind of a video that will help you determine what kind of land should I get. Now, when I'm looking at this list and I have bought some land, I've sold some land, so I'm kind of just using the money from the plots that I've sold of unsurveyed stuff or plot tokens, and I'm buying already surveyed stuff. Now, when I look at this list and I think 67, no way I'm going to buy the 67 over these 68s because they have a building in a box. And to me, um, uh, these building in a box, even though they cost 10,000, and even though you could have got it with uh, even less DEC because you bought DECB, I still value these roughly at $10 because I can't add on these starter packages to these ones. And so what would it take me to build the box and and how much would I need to spend to upgrade this land? And I'm thinking it's probably somewhere around 10, even though these people didn't spend $10, I still value it around that. So, and then I look to see if there's any that have both building and unstables because I want both. And so together, I would then look at this number and say, well, okay, 74 minus 2, 54. Uh, 68 minus 10, 58. So technically, I am more likely to get this one and these 75s. And there's a whole bunch of the 75s that I could get. All those 75s. Technically, 55, right? Either way, 75, 55. Let's go with the higher number, um, 75. Then I I look through the list to see, you know, if there's any deals. And I start with the top one first and just kind of click the boxes, 999, maybe the 999, but I wouldn't do the 999 over the 1000 because it has a building in a box. I would definitely spend the $1 more. And I don't actually think that I would pick, I don't know, it would be kind of a tough decision. Maybe it's, it's right on the border. I think this building on the box, in the box, it saves me so much time and work and all that stuff that it may be more beneficial to get this one than the 999. So Crypto Bogey should have done the building in a box um, in order to appeal to buyers like me. However, um, Canyon does seem interesting and I have to figure out what are the variety of land that I already own? And I own like a thousand, right? So how much Tundra do I have? Is the Tundra useful to the cards that I have? I'm not sure. And But then you also think, will these prices go down? They have kind of been falling on legendaries and haven't been falling on commons. But let's keep going. Is Epic going to be better? Because while the legendary has a 100% bonus, Epic has a 40% which means I could buy essentially four of these for the price of a legendary. Now, all four of these are not, they don't have a starter pack. So I'm not as excited about them. And I would definitely pick these four over them. I don't like that they are all in different regions. I like having a bunch in the same region. Um, and then I would look at rares. Um, now we have some of these 92s that would be essentially 82. And I'll go down to see, okay, well, these um, 95 or 105 and then 95. So 95 roughly compared to these ones at 82. And that's a $13 difference. And at least there is a building on the box, in, in box. So... Next thing I would do, all right, brought it up. I'd look at the the region, and then I would show by rarity color so that I could quickly find the rares that it was talking about. And these little symbols here rep represent these are the ones that are for sale. You can kind of tell over here. So then I would find the bright yellow and see who the keep owner is, Mano 237. That's not going to help, you know, necessarily make my decision for me, but it is good information. Now, the question is, 
uh, now that we've kind of decided, um, do we want a rare for 92 or do we want commons for 75? Uh, even better commons. So let's say 65 to compare them to each other, right? Because the other ones just had building in a box. So 65 versus 92, okay? Uh, or 80, no, 92, because we're comparing them against each other. 65 versus 92. Well, then I would look at um, what I own already. And um, all of my gold level cards, my gold foil cards will probably end up being on my... Um, now I can go to my land, okay? So if I've got a bunch of gold cards, they are going to go probably on my mythics first with my best stuff maybe in my castle and then some of my other good stuff in my mythics. So that's eight and I still have another region or another uh, tract. So that's going to be like nine there. So that's 45 really high level cards there. and then. Um, another two to be added to this. So you got 18. So we got about 20 legendary and mythic lands, right? Which means a uh, hundred pretty high level cards will go there. Uh, and then um, we're at 20. So if we add in epics, I have a lot of Rooney. I don't have enough for all mythics, legendaries, and epics. So they'll all be gone before They'll all be used on my lands before I get to rare and commons, okay? I don't have 55 Rooney. Um, and that doesn't include the four more epics I'm going to get from my tract and uh, a legendary and a, another mythic. So we've got 60 or so mythic, legendary, and epics. Um, so that's going to include all of my Rooney, and that's going to be 60 times um five that's 300 high level cards so that's like my uh, most of my gold foil cards that i won't be renting out to play with that's most all of those right um we could go to this is common knowledge but let's open up another one for um and go to look at my gold foil um uh, my gold foil deck and then i would sort it by pp and um i go down this list one two three it's hard i, I think what you'd really want to do is be able to select them so you can see how many are selected it would show up in the top right but i can't select them because i'm not logged into that account but uh i mean we've got cards how many cards are there essentially uh we got to do this we got to do this so we are going to switch to that account all right let us refresh the page sort by pp and then just go down the list to um something resembling uh, like rare gold foils cards, right? Which I believe are 4,000 roughly. So let's take everything 5,000 and above. 5,000 and above, those are the types of cards um, that we would put into epics, legendaries, mythics. And we're gonna see we're at right at the 306 range. Um, so that's, that could definitely fill them up, but you have to remember if I'm playing with this account, there's, I'm probably playing with a hundred of these cards. And then how many of these cards rent for really high amounts? That's the other thing I would want to see. Like the Lux Vega, I would not be putting it rents for really good. Um, the Scared the Scarred Llama Mage rents for really good. The Yoden rents for really good. 
So a lot of the, you know, the Zentor Mortalis looks like it rents for really good. Some of these aren't even renting, so those would be easy takes. Um, and then uh, the Camilla rents for a really good price. So, I mean, we've got, that one's really good price. The Tyrus isn't renting out. Oh, okay, this one's not renting out. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this one's renting out. The Corrupted Pegasus. The Liana is renting out as an alpha max level is renting out for quite a bit. So there are going to be dozens of these that I will not um, include to put on the land, but we are getting close to um, what we were referencing. Uh, where was it with um, my my deeds that I have and putting them in different places? Um, but that's not all. Um, because we've got magical and occupied that help boost um, totem. So one of their best things that they do. Now they'll boost research and they'll boost um, uh, SPS, which is great, but they're based on um, the extended, you know, the bonus uh, PP. But for totem finding, just a regular old Occupy will do. And I have 30. Um, and the best I have is rare. So I will definitely uh, put some of those good people even on the Occupied rare, which we have eight of. And then if we add this, we got 23 magical um, rares. So we're looking at you know, like somewhere around 50 or sorry, not 50, 80 to 90 uh, plots that are going to get some of our best stuff that's above 4,000. So what I want to say, and we're wrapping it back into this discussion uh, about, um, let's, let's open another tab here about buying land and and looking at what we would get from common or rare most of our really good cards are being used epics legendaries mythics and then next step is rare magical and occupied and so then we just have rares and commons left of which uh we still have some gold we'll have some gold foil stuff not a lot so is it worth getting the rares or the commons? And this is where we come to using the calculator, which you can find under explore. And in here, we can set it to rare and then just whatever, about a beneficial terrain to whatever you choose. What you choose doesn't matter too much. Just, you know, if it gets the 10% boost. Now, um, I'm actually going to add a common totem because those uh, I have a lot of personally. I have I have quite a few. So most all my rares will get a common totem. Okay, so now I'm at 26,408. And then um, what I like to do, I can hit link, copy that, you know, and uh, put it over there. Anyways, let's go back. And so what happens if I move to, I have 26,400 and I move to a common. Let's do it. So I am not going to be putting, like it's, it's not gonna be often that I put rare gold max there. Those types of cards are, are quite valuable. I mean, we can, we can double check and go in here and hit buy and go to price at level, price at level, gold foil and rares. So we're talking $60, so $300, a little over $300, you know, of, of cards going 
onto a this rare plot that's costing us what what did we discuss it was 90 92 plus 300 dollars of cards um plus a common totem okay so you're looking at 300 dollars of cards here um plus 90 dollars so that's 400 dollars um plus these totems are 30 so you're looking at um, somewhere around $430 to get 24,200. Oh, sorry, that is to get 26,400, okay? Now, if we go down to common, because we could keep everything the same, we could put those good cards on the regular and we could put the $30 totem on there. And so then we take 24, 26,400 minus 24,200. That's 2,200 divided by 26,200. That means it's 8% better, 8% better to do all of this on rare land. Okay. 8% better to do this on rare land. Um, or should we say common is 8% worse? I think that's how you're supposed to say it. 8.4% worse. So what is, um, uh, 92 times 0.91, that's something like $83, um, is what, you know, the common should be compared to that rare price. Um, uh, but it's not happening. You know, like, I just, it, you know, we've got, it's even cheaper for those commons. So now in the common world, now if we take out the, um, we take out the $30 totem, right? Oh, I guess to be fair, the price should be 430 times 0.91. It's not technically 0.91, 391. So that's a, you know, $39 difference. So it, you know, there is a $39 difference between commons and rare plots. So I guess that makes sense, especially if you're, if you're willing to spend, um, 400, $400 to work this land, then you might as well put, uh, put it on rare land. I think that's where we're, what we're looking at, right? So, um, now the question is common land. We are not ever going to put, uh, gold foil stuff. Not in my situation. We're never really going to put gold foil stuff on this land. We may put some regular legend, you know, like some, some regular legendaries, stuff like that. But I think the most common thing is going to be common rare. And then, um, 115 is a maxed, right? So, and the commons, we won't even have, uh, we, we definitely won't have totems for them all. And we're going to have to take a look at that. Okay. So common, 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 six, six, five, five. And what does this cost these days? Let's go to regular. We're looking at six, 50, 6.5 times five. We're looking at 32, 50, um, plus the common land. So 32, 50 plus what did we discuss on these? I don't know if I still have it open. I do. Okay. So let's say 68 plus 
68. So we're looking at right around a hundred dollars um, for this, but with the totems, 130, right? So six, six, um, let's turn this to none. 6050. Um, uh, and then we add the totem, which is the cheapest thing to add. 6655. So minus 6655 is 605, which means um, it's 605. Remember that number. 605. Oh, let's 605 divided by 6050. Oh, well, that's 10%. <laughs> we should have known because the totem says that. 10% difference, right, in the amount of PP. And um, I think it's even greater in the amount of grain and other resources that you do, right? We know about grain right now. So 72.6 minus... Uh, 60.5 equals 12.1. So you take 12.1 divided by 60.5, and it's a like 20% difference in the grain, 10% in the PP, 20% in the grain. Um, and does it impact the common? Well, this whole thing has to be changed. The calculator needs to be a bit better. We're actually going to copy paste it here and at the very beginning add beta because there has been some updates to it that we need to just release. So we added more decimal places here, fixed it so that there should be one more decimal place and then we added a little bit more. So this is the technical best example of it right here. So from 4.2, um, it, it didn't really change because it's off of the base amount. So um, your totem encounters is not really going to change even if you have a legendary totem, right? So that doesn't matter as much, but it will change uh, the grain and stuff like that or the, the research points or the SPS that you get. Um, so there you go, the grain has a pretty big impact by adding the totem. So if you're looking at um, uh, doing, you know, if you're looking at this part of it, the these two items here, not this item. Um, okay, but these are the most common cards I'll probably put on, on, um, on that land. So if I... If I spend the extra, what is it, $30? No, I can't remember anymore. 68, sorry, 65, because this is what we would get, versus 92. Um, uh, 65 versus 92, 92 minus 65, 27, 27 divided by 92, it's like 30% more. But when you look over here, and because most of the common, we won't have a totem. Well, let's just keep totems on there, okay? Common. So we go from 6655 minus 7260. That's another 605. Um, 605 divided by... Oops, change this to common. 6655, it's like 9% difference. So it's hard to, maybe I'm not thinking of something perfectly right, but considering what we're putting on these, now you do have to um, 
add the 50,000 um, DEC to each plot, right? Isn't it 10,000 or is it 50,000 per? Um, that's a good question. I, I've forgotten now. How much is it to, that you have to stake per worker on the land? How much DEC staked? That's the question. So let's figure that out. All right, we are on the white paper, um, 10,000 per max level. So we are discussing using max level. So, I mean, we are talking, it's not a sunk cost, but it is a cost that, you know, like DEC that you have to earn or buy or get, you know, like somehow so that you can have it for these plots of land. So um, when it comes down to it, uh, the land, you could consider it a cost, right? You could say we've got $32 in cards plus $92 um, for the rare plus $50, right? So we got $174. Um, so when you consider the common now, which was 75 minus the unstable token. So 65, right? So 174, 65 plus 50 plus 32, that's 147 minus 174. There's a $27 difference. $27 divided by 174 is a 15%. So the common is 15% lower than the rare when you get to this point. It's 15% lower than the rare. And but how big of a difference is. Um, and we could add in the common totems, but let's not on this case. So let's take the rare. So the price of the common is 50%, 15.5% lower. 6655 minus, it's probably just gonna be 10%, right? 6050, um, and we take 6050 divided by 6655. Oh, it's only 9%. So it is 15% lower to buy a common than a rare but you only earn 9% lower. So it is technically better it for me to buy commons, to buy more commons because, because or uh, to use like, now, now what's the, what's the difference in, in epics, I guess we could look. Um, so we would take the, the uh, $32 of cards, but you'd probably want to use a little bit better cards, but let's just say it's $32 of cards plus the $50 of staking. I know it's not a sunk expense. Um, and then you, so I'm not going to go for rares. I'm going to go check out epics and let's take a look. We've got 247 with the building a box plus 247, so it's 329. And then um, what did we say it was for the commons? I believe it was 147 minus 147. So 182 minus, oh, I just forgot the history. Um, 329. 329. 55%. Let's see. Wow. 55% lower to get a common over an epic. Let's take a look. Um, uh, and, and it's going to be even more because if we got an epic, we're definitely putting a, a common totem on it but let's just check it out. Let's give it that little unfair advantage, right? So 
9,075 minus, let's go down to common, 6,655. So that's 2,420 um, uh, divided by 9,075. That's 26% benefit for the common. Um, now, it may change up a little bit when you consider that if you're going to use an Epic, you're going to probably use some better cards. Um, but how many of those cards do I have? And what's the, what's the best deal on some of those? So if we go to PP, and then we've got a lot of the rares in there. What if we went to, um, let's just do some gold level type cards. And it looks like the commons are going to be the best. Okay, so the commons, how many do they need? 38. So let's do one final thing here. And um, let's figure out the price of a max commons. So price at level, let's do common. We're at $23, for, for example. 23 times 5, 115 plus um, 115 plus the 234 plus the 50. So we're looking at $400 for a really good um, epic land. So let's change this up to common, common um, 32, is that right? Gotta double check. I can be forgetful, 38, whoops, okay. 38, 38, these are the type of things I'd probably put on some epics, but mostly rares, based on the quantity that I have. We're going to go for gold, 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 gold. There's gold in them there, hills. Common. Common. Boom. All right. So we've got $400 spent on this, right? Per, per land. And that includes the staked. We're getting 16,500. And then, um, we know that a very common land is, is going to be something like 6,050, right? Minus 6,050. So then we take um, 10,450. Well, let's see this. 10,450 divided by 16,500. So 63% lower is what the common should be. So if we take 400 times 63, the inverse of that, 37 times 3, 0.37, then the common would cost like 148. But um, we already discussed that 50 plus 65 plus 32, um, sorry, let me do the math, is 147. Whoa, well, that's interesting, right? Because, um, wow, okay, we're taking um, 400 times 0.37, right? That was our other number, 400 times 0.37, 148. Well, dang, Gina it may actually be better to buy epics to
together with, oh, we didn't add the common on this. Okay, okay. So we actually have to do, I mean, because we're talking about, what was our pricing cards? 23, let's do it again, 20, let's even do 24 times 5, 120, plus 50, plus, what's the price of the land? 247, 247, plus the totem, 447, and then times that by 0 0.37, 165. So still technically better on the commons, getting commons and getting rare, um, uh, rare regular foils is going to be a little bit better, even with the concept of having to spend $50 that you don't actually have to spend, you're just staking. But if we're considering it a spend, it's still going to be better on the common plots. So there's that. So with that knowledge, buy more common plots. Is that what I'm thinking? I don't know. This isn't financial advice, but if I'm going to do it, I can keep some of my DEC that I would have spent on epics and knowing that I'm going to have to put some more in for later. So I'm actually interested to know who owns 14. I'm guessing it's Zimos. Um, he has Zimos stuff there. <laughs> oh, look at Polywalt. I'll buy from him. So I will add that to the cart. I do want to look at number 14 and um, I do already have nine plots in 14, which is great. Let's go into 14. So getting more there is great because I can transfer amongst each other. So um, let's find the who owns the keep, which is obviously Zimos. Now this keep is being sold, but none of them are very cheap. I wonder who owns the castle. Kingdom, king, keep, 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 keep. Is this a castle? Keep. Castle. Okay, sorry, I didn't recognize that. Um, so, Callias. Callias has the castle. So I could be in here with a bunch of my other stuff here. I'm in the same uh, tract as a bunch of these other people. So uh, I could definitely see myself doing that. Now, one thing I would do is to just check on region 14 and what's for sale. There's the castle. No legendaries for sale. No epics. Yeah, some, uh, we got a bunch of stuff being sold there, but we're going to go for grabbing a bunch of these. Two, three, I sold a bunch of unsurveyed land at 150 um, uh, without building in the box so um, or totems because it was unsurveyed right so I am buying two, three four five six I, I kind of want to do I want all canyon it's all canyon I think that was why I bought a bunch of their stuff. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now, I like I like the number. I like 42. It's the meaning of everything, you know. 43. I like that. What are some other fun numbers? Ooh, I want the a 100. 
and um, 79. All right. So then I can forego 15, 17. How many do I have? I just want 10. So I'm 27. All righty. 749. I, I got more money than this from what I just recently um, sold. Oh, and we don't want to purchase with this account. Switch accounts to Jarvi. And I got to pick them all over again. 7, 15, 24. It's like two dozen. Let's take 30. 42, I don't know, just like random numbers. And uh, let's do 61, 70, 79, 100. I guess we need to get rid of one of them. 61. There we go. More money in this account. Those should all stick around for a while. He's selling quite a few of them anyways. So um, that helped me make my decision. Now, legendaries, though. When do legendaries become? Or epics are almost worth it. Or almost. They've got that 40% bonus and the type of cards you're putting on there. Now, what about if we put legendary with these same sort of cards in there? So... $1,000 plus 200 and what was it? 200 and something worth of cards. 200, $120 worth of cards? I think it was $120 worth of cards. 120 plus 50 plus 30. Let's figure this out. $1,200 but you would get 23, 23, 100, minus 6050, 17050. 17050 divided by 23100, 73. So the inverse is 27. So 1200 times 0.27, yeah, the common is still better if you did. Um, and I'll show you the reverse of this as well. If you took this, which is $32 of cards, plus 50, plus 65 for the plot, it's 147. Okay. And um, so how many times does 6050 go into... 23,100. Okay, 23,100 divided by 6050 is 3.8. Okay, so 3.8 times what we just decided was, was 147. So times $147, that's $558 to get the same amount of PP. Uh, with the common cards, you would get the same amount of PP. That's another way of kind of showing it, you know, going around that. So, um, yeah, even with the $50 counted, uh, that is not money spent, it's money staked that you can move around. It's still more beneficial to buy more. You're going to get more PP and more grain and more totem encounters in general by, I think you get more totem encounters. I'm pretty sure that's how that math would work out. But I mean, for $558 compared to $1,200, it's a lot better to just go for the commons and work a lot of plot of land, a lot of plots of land. Um, now the bigger cards, um, now, your grain is going to be quite impacted by your 
by having legendaries, right? So if we looked at this and we got 352, so let's figure that out. 352 from one of these, whereas this is 60, right? So 352 divided by 60.5, that's 5.8, okay? Not 3.8, that's 5.8. And then we'll times that by 147, it's $855. So you would have to spend $855 of um, buying common plots and, um, and furnishing them with, you know, max level rares, common, you know, like regular foil rares and stuff like that. So, and the $50 for each of them for staking. It's still going to get you more grain. So, but once you start putting in bigger and bigger cards, right? If you've got legendary gold foils and, and other stuff like that, you do not want to be putting them on common cards. Um, you want to be you want to be putting them on higher level cards, anyways. But we just established that I've got what I need. And what I want, um, uh, enough legendaries and epics to work with the cards I, that I have, right? So if we go to my cards here, um, and then sort by this, you know, how many cards we were, we were referencing cards that are 2200 pp so let's check it out here where am i so many tabs open how many cards do i have above 2200 um, there's going to be a lot i can tell you that right now i have a lot i understand i've been around for a little while and i haven't even combined you know i could combine some of these and it would end up be, uh, being a bunch more but then again, I can keep some of these rented. So uh, we're talking about above 2200. So we will start here. We have 542. So 542 divided by five is 108 plots. And then we can go back to Gringotts. All right, and so 100 and 108 plots. Okay, that's good. And then we're looking at all the ones above 2200. 108 plots, 108 plots. So do I maybe need some more rare? You know, like some of these cards are pretty good, but I'm going to probably still rent out quite a few of them. So... Um, and then, but I do need to combine some of these as well. Uh, I'll just wait to do that. Okay, above 2200. So it's another 601. So 542 plus 601, 1143 divided by 5, 228 plots. That will have two, you know, two thousand times five. Ooh, and this isn't even the case. This is a ten percent bonus. So I was looking actually cards that are two thousand and above. Anyway, so these cards will be much better. They'll be like twenty four hundred each. Um, of course, I'm still going to rent out a bunch of them for playing. But, um, uh, in general, even at the minimum, we're looking at 228 plots that would at least get 23,000, because I have enough commons for those 228 plots, okay? Um, so 228 times 23,100 is 5.2 million PP. Um, uh, and point, sorry, we got to go back to here. Um, well, we just know that this is off by 
by one, so 0 0.008 um, uh, times 200, and, what was it, 238? So I should get at least 1.9 totems an hour. Is that right? Is that how you, oh no, no, no. That's 1.9%. 1.9%. That's what that is. 1.9% times 24 means 45% chance a day of getting um, a totem. That's a lot less percentage chance. But that's at the minimum um, PP that I could... could yeah. And... and this is all on rares. So how many rares do I have is, I guess, a question. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, we've gone through it. I went and bought my commons. I'm still going to keep an eye on uh, legendaries and epics, but I'm probably going to be a little bit less excited about rares unless I see even lower pricing. So... That's just what I'm taking away, and I reserve the right to change my mind later. Hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what you're doing in order to figure out um, land purchases. So I just I go in here often, and I, I go back through, and Mythic, yeah, nothing's really changed at the bottom. On the Epics, nothing's changed there. 232, um, 92, yeah, so... Hmm. And then, and then there we are. So, all right, nothing's nothing's changed. I, I do actually look at unsurveyed from time to time, and um, gotta get rid of all those and see what's going on there. And then you know you often go in and check to say, well, is the is the keep castle been found in one twelve? And has the keep been found in tract 10? And so I'll kind of go and look at those from time to time. And I believe I've looked at a lot of these and they have been found. Um, so uh, I can't remember who found, who has a castle in number five, which I have stuff in number five. Uh, I don't have it in this account though. It's, it was a peak monsters thing. This is where the big pool happened. And rarity. Let's see. This has a keep. This. Oh, is this my keep? Peak monsters. It is technically going to be my keep. Um, uh, and keep. 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 So there is going to be stuff. Oh, look at. Well, it could be in this one, which nothing has been found, and uh, would be nice to be in this section with them. So if I were to buy unsurveyed land, the castle and the keep is still on the board. Um, and what's the price though? One ninety nine. So I would just, I would buy it at 199 But I'm interested in them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I could maybe just message them and tell them I'd buy it for a different price. <laughs> All right, that's it.